Okay, so thanks for coming back. So I was tasked with uh, making some chicken nuggets uh, from McKenzie Moments. Hey Bruce, this is for you. Hey, check this out. So I made some. Yeah, I saw you making some on your live. Um, but this is how I do it. Um, kids love it. I hope your kids love it. If you try it, hopefully you like it. You know, look at this. Nuggets, chicken nuggets, right? They're a little bigger than McDonald's, Wendy's, you know, Burger King, um, but they're flavorful, right? So try these out. Let me know what you think. I told you I was going to make them for you. And this is how I do it. Let me taste them. Big guy here. Yep. Yep. Seasonings. Good. There's boys. And you can dip it in any sauce you like. Stay tuned. You're going to love this. Hey, this is Charles Chirac. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. All right, so for this recipe, we're gonna need salt, about, uh, about a teaspoon of salt, about a teaspoon of pepper. I mean, you can use white pepper if you like. We have about a teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, well, the onion powder and the garlic, you know me, it's granulated. So it's granulated onion, granulated um, garlic. We have some celery salt by a teaspoon. A tablespoon of cornstarch. About a tablespoon of flour. About just over, just over a tablespoon of oil. I'm using uh, canola oil, and you can use any oil you want. Three tablespoons of water, and about a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. And then we have two chicken breasts I've cut up, okay? And we're gonna put this in a blender, and we're gonna get it working. So that's right, next. This so is our chicken, through the food processor. All right, get in there. Add in there the two chicken breasts and our salt and our pepper, our granulated garlic, granulated onion, put that in there, our celery salt. We're going to add our cornstarch okay. and our flour and add our oil. Okay, we want to add that. Add our water and our lemon juice. Let's get this all blended up. All right, let's check the consistency here. Our spatula, look at it. Scrape down. Looking pretty nice. Looking pretty nice. Okay. Let's give it about another 20 seconds, and then we'll be good to go. See that? And this is what we want. Let me get a little bit for you. See that? And this is what we want. Perfect. All right, let's get this shaped up. 
Okay, so Bruce, we have about a cup and a half of flour here, right? And a little bit of pepper, about a teaspoon. And we're gonna mix this up. And we don't need, we don't need any salt for this. Just get this mixed up, the pepper and the flour. All right, now we're gonna shape our chicken neck, all right? Let's take some of our filling, about a tablespoon of it. Put in a nice little shape, see? And there's traditionally four shapes for the McNugget, right? You have the ball, which is right here. Get in the shape, let's get in the flour, okay? Knock the excess off. Put it on our baking sheet. And then you have the bone. So let's make the bone shape. You see that? The bone. Make the bone shape, which is basically a rectangle, really. Let's get that in the flour, in the, the seasoned flour. Okay. Bone shape. We have some more. Now we're going to do the boot. which looks kind of like a stocking if you think about it. So let's get this hooked up. See how it looks like a boot? See that? Isn't that nice? That. Get that all floured up. Knock the excess off. Make sure it's shaped like a boot. Like a flat boot. There we go. Now let's make the bill. The bill is kind of like a water drop, if you think about it. But we're going to hook it up. Put in the flour, season flour, give it a better shape. There we go, a little bill action. That goes on the tray, and you just keep repeating it. Right? The ball, the bill, the boot, and the bone. And again, the ball is pretty much a circle, a flattened circle. All right, so all the shapes are made. Then we got, here we got the ball, we got the bone, we got the boot, we got the bill, right? So let's put these in the uh, freezer for one hour, and then we're going to do the next, next part. We're going to need some pepper, a teaspoon, a quarter of a cup cornstarch, just over a half a cup of flour, and just over a half a cup of breadcrumbs, and then we're going to need some water for the batter. Right. Let's add our flour. Breadcrumbs, cornstarch, pepper. Let's get this mixed up. And that's add our water to make a nice batter. Looks like we're probably going to need about another half a cup of flour. All right, so I've added about a half a cup more flour. Now I'm going to add some baking powder, about a teaspoon. Let's get that mixed in. Add just a little bit more water. Because I'm looking for something that is a little looser and pancake batter. All right, now we're gonna put our nuggets into this batter and put them in the fryer. And since we put them in the freezer, 
it makes them a lot easier to handle. Okay. He's in here. Crash yourself. Right, and we're gonna put the rest in, we'll be back. This man sizzled away. Put your nuggets together, nice and seasoned, fine. Of course, that's bigger than you normally get from a fast food restaurant, but that's what you want. If you like this, you know, try the recipe out, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Strong, strong, and I'm out.